This week on Airline, an international incident in departures. Why? No, 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 we have no... You know, we, we have ordered, or we have checked the board. By, by 20 minutes, we checked the board. A new airstrip at Luton. And there's bad news at Liverpool. What does that mean? Broken. The aircraft's broken. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. If you can use some exotic booze, there's a bar in Far Bombay. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. It's been a difficult spring at Luton Airport, with severe fog and snow causing major disruptions for the airlines. Now, for the third day running, the airport is shrouded in a blanket of fog, and yet again passengers are turning up, expecting to fly. It's going to be a test of character for EasyJet's Jane Bolton, who has a severe new look. Jane is in charge of dealing with the passengers. Um, the airport's fog-bound yet again, so it's huge grief. Everything's delayed, nothing's going, nothing's leaving here until at least 8 o'clock. So the first flight that should have gone at 5.40 is still here, 7 o'clock now. But it's going to have a knock-on effect for the whole day now. I love my job. The fog has left Luton in chaos, and stranded passengers are looking to Jane for answers. Are you going to stay at 9 o'clock tonight? No, there's not a flight, because we don't want to be in the same situation as these other guys that have been here yesterday, because we definitely need to get to Nice today, no I know that, what. and as I've told you three times now, I don't know what time we're going to get you there. We're waiting for an aircraft to land to take you, but nothing can land at the moment until an aircraft gets there. I can't tell you what well, time you're going to Why can't you tell other people to say, look, this is, this is what's going to happen, uh, there's no flights today, and people can start making because other there arrangements. Were the airport was open, the aircraft were landing, and now they've been stopping them from landing they again. Yesterday, so. eh? They were yesterday, were they? No, they carried on landing yesterday. But unfortunately, the fog's come down, they've stopped from landing again. That's out of my hands, the weather. If it lands here, we'll turn it around and get you straight out. What do you think? What's your professional opinion? Do you think I, I don't work. I have nothing to do work. with the weather. I don't know <laughs> what happens with the weather and air traffic control. If the air traffic control decide it's too dangerous for it to land, it's too dangerous you for it to land. You must have updates on the weather, though. We will have more information at 10.30. So I'm telling you, we'll have more information. information. If 10.30 comes along, you can say, right, the flight's not going to take off. Hopefully, yeah. All right, yeah, thanks, yeah. thanks very much. So, Liverpool, yeah, I'm just trying to sort that one out. Hello. At Liverpool, despite the rain, it's good news for passengers finally boarding their flight to Amsterdam. A mechanical fault has made them two hours late. But there are knock-on consequences for passengers to Luton. They now have to wait for the plane to return from Amsterdam before it can take them on to their destination. It's a real headache for check-in assistant Simon Green. Luton is here now and saying that it's going to be going at 10 past 11. Then we're getting told it's going at 12 o'clock. Then we've been told it's half past 12. There's so many different stories going around. It's just really me off now. It's really me off. I had uh, an all-day meeting set aside with the solicitor's practice, eight hours that took about a month to arrange. And um, on the first day that I decided ever to fly from Liverpool Airport, I was greeted with a three-hour delay at check-in, um, which has totally ruined, literally, my whole purpose of going down to Luton today. Normally, I drive. First time I decided to fly, uh, the EasyJet gave me a three-hour delay. Now I'm stuck here, so I'm at their mercy. The fog at Luton has finally cleared, but for EasyJet, it's been an expensive morning. Delays have set the company back around a third of a million pounds. Now, with the fog gone, some flights have been brought forward, causing more chaos. She told me, he told me to come here. I mean, she said she doesn't know how to do it. We always check the public board, but no message, you know? We no, have been waiting six hours here. And Sorry. we came here, but you no, said just a prayer left. What do you We are waiting for six hours, and we didn't recognize any flight any on board, any board. I'm afraid the Inverness flight has gone. It left about half an hour ago. Why? No, 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 we have no information. You know, we, we have ordered, or we have checked the board. By, by 20 minutes, we checked the board. But you, your information is just 60 here, yeah, yeah. any time. Can we just move a little bit away then? The Inamoto family's Inverness flight was initially delayed for six hours, but took off after four. The message for the gate, gate 1B, there I came here quickly. 
but your colleagues said are okay. already left. What do you mean? Uh, we can't uh, believe it. Clear about it. Oh, yeah. Things we can move you on to tomorrow's uh, EasyJet. EasyJet. Yeah. And? Uh, sorry? And uh, you prepare for the hotel? And we'll put you up in the hotel. Hotel and transformation from here to the hotel, hotel to the airport? I, I think so. Yeah, Could, that's no problem. Yeah. The day, after the hotel, tomorrow, we'll put you up in the hotel. Hotel and transformation from here to the hotel, hotel to the airport. Yeah, that's no problem. Yeah. The day, asked us to watch the information board carefully and they will give us all information, whole information on the board. But there's no, nothing has been changed and we couldn't hear any announcement in the main terminal. I never choose EasyJet. No, no more EasyJet. There's still no news on the delayed Liverpool Luton flight. Hi, Nick. What am I going to be telling these passengers? Oh, all right, it's just that everybody's asking me now, you see? All right, try. Yeah, I've had enough. They've added another hour onto it, so um, it is just completely ruined my day and ruined the people that I was meeting, so I'm going to try and go and... Sorry, how do I get out to get my money back, please? Do I go this way? Yeah, just go straight back. Why have they added another hour on the delay time? The aircraft no. contact. Sorry? The aircraft contact. What, what does that mean? Broken. The aircraft's broken. They're actually teaching now, apparently, an easy jet if anybody tries to strangle you out to get out of it now. Terrible, isn't it? You can't tell me when the plane's flying. Two planes have broken and it takes ten days to get a refund. Flying it easy, bro. Frustrated with a wasted morning at the airport, solicitor Lee Martin heads back to the office to rearrange his meeting and work on getting a refund from EasyJet. But the smiles are back on everyone's faces at Luton, where EasyJet cabin crew scheduler Becky Fitchard is checking in her hen party for a flight to Parma. Well, we're going out to celebrate um, my wedding, which is in approximately, I've forgotten already, six weeks' time. And Janine, she's going out to Antigua on Wednesday to marry the wonderful Malcolm. <laughs> but uh, we're going to on a pilgrimage to Magala and um, to the Holy BCM. And the Holy Bananas. And the Holy Bananas. And the Holy Car Wash. <laughs> I'm sure they'll receive us well. Yes. <laughs> and as for these lot, I don't know. They've they just taken them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, she's, no, she's married. There's an hour to kill before their flight to Palma takes off, and they're making the most of it. Purse on the hen party's Palma flight is Janie Stock. Janie has a lot on her mind. She's applied for a pet passport to bring her dog, Blue Boy, home from Mallorca. Now Janie's waiting for the results of his medical. Last night, David rang me, the guy who's looking after Blue Boy, the dog, um, to say the long-awaited letter, the certificate of fly or not fly, has arrived. So instead of rushing through it last night and getting to open the letter and we both get um, sleepless nights over at, I said, wait till today, because I'm coming over and we'll both go and see the vet together and see how it goes. But of course, that sent me sort of over the edge as far as nerves are concerned, because I've been waiting for this letter too long. At the terminal, the hen party's drinking is brought to a sudden stop by an unexpected security alert. I've been good in a disaster movie. But it's just an accidental false alarm. Keep moving down away from the terminal building. Stelios, if this is a practical joke, it's not funny. No, I think <laughs> no, it is. I think it is. Probably an unintended bag, I would imagine. They've told us to walk away. So, bomb alert or perhaps unattended bag. Sound very experienced here, don't I? <laughs>
The flight from Liverpool to Luton is now four hours behind schedule. Mike Mercer's plans are in danger of collapsing. He needs to make a connection to Athens and then to Crete, where he has a job starting tomorrow. If I don't make the one in Luton, I'll be staying in Luton overnight, because I can't. After this one, at quarter past one, the next flight is like six o'clock in the morning from Luton, so if I miss that, I'm at it. <laughs> Mike's flight finally arrives. It should be ready to leave in 20 minutes. Each jet passengers charging off flights, EZ 1793 to Bolton Please make your way to Eastern Gate number four. But after a morning of technical problems, EasyJet Simon fears the worst. You know what they're going to say now, don't you? They'll get on the plane and they'll have to afford them all because it's gone tech again. <laughs> I'll just <laughs> <I'll> just <laughs> But the plane is set for departure and Mike is hopeful of making his Athens connection. Just arriving at Luton is 29-year-old Penny McParlin, who's flying with EasyJet for an adventure of a lifetime. I'm here waiting to meet a guy called Kevin, who's an instructor for Freefall Company, um, and I'm going on a skydiving course in Spain. I'm doing it because it's something different, exciting to do, and also I've got um, flying in my family, my dad, is retired now, but he's been a pilot 40 years. My brother's an aeronautical engineer here at Luton Airport as well. And I just want to do something to do with flying, but it's a bit different for me, so. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Pleased Hi, to meet Kevin. Been Pleased here to meet you. Uh, about Corvina. Oh, yeah. Not too long. All ready then? Yeah, ready to go. Life a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, next time you get on a plane, you'll be jumping out of it. Oh. Over in Palma, the impending visit to the vets is sending Janie on an emotional roller coaster ride. Do you know, it's ludicrous. I've seen all sorts of dilemmas in my life, all sorts of things, and this is really my Achilles heel. Stupid dog. <laughs> he really is, though. It's my, it's my weak spot. And I miss him so much. So, yeah, it's just got to be positive, this certificate. It's got to say yes. It's got to have a big red tick. The outcome of today's results will have a big impact on Janie's life. If Bluey can't leave Spain, she may have to give up her job and move to Mallorca. It's going to be difficult if I do have to make a decision. <laughs> it's going to be difficult to just jack it all in, you know? And again, everyone will say, what, are you going to jack it in for the dog? And I may have to hit them. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Could you um, tell us why, uh, how high we are at the moment? Yeah, it's about 33,000 feet we are at the moment. 33,000 feet, yeah. there you go. Why is that? 30, it's just that Penny's going to be jumping out of an aircraft tomorrow at 13,000 feet. So. Great, is it your first time? Yeah, really. Oh, really good luck with it. OK. Down on the ground, Mike Mercer arrives at Luton to discover he's missed his connecting flight to Athens. That means he will also miss his ongoing flight from Athens to Crete. Yeah, the problem is I've got to get a connecting flight from Athens. Unfortunately, the only flight I have available is 22.55. Well, I'm stuck in Athens then overnight, so they said in Liverpool you'd be able to sort something out for me. Because uh, I can't get a flight from Athens to Crete at that time of night. If I stay here tonight and get the first flight out in the morning and then get... And he said you'll get me a flight from Athens to Crete. And we will get you Athens. You'll get me to Athens to Crete? No. That we don't do. I can give you a well, free transfer. Well, he said that to me in Liverpool. Basically, I'm giving an option here. I can give you tonight, or I can give you tomorrow if there's flight out. By the way, I'm still sitting in Athens with no flight to get out of Athens. Um, are you saying it's our fault that you missed the flight? Well, it's not or... my fault, is it? On the Costa Brava in Spain, freefall student Penny has begun her training. Check in. OK. Check out. She's got a lot to learn in a short time before she'll be able to cope with jumping out of a plane at 13,000 feet. It's tough work. Just above five. It's quite tiring, yeah. I'm just running around, my head spinning, trying to remember everything and just trying to remain calm. I'm starting to get quite nervous and concerned about it tomorrow now in terms of will I remember everything and how's it going to go. And I've just got to focus now on enjoying it, basically. Over in Mallorca, Janie has met up with her friend David, who's been looking after Bluey for the last two years. Yeah. Let's see my Bluey. 
This is her first visit for 12 months. Come through. Can you hear his dulcet tones? Yeah. David doesn't want Bluey to get upset, so Janie will have to keep her distance. <laughs> We're going to let Bluey out now so as Janie can see Bluey. But on the other hand, Bluey can't see Janie. I can hear him and I can't see him. Go on, Bluey. Have a run around so you can be seen. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at him. Oh, he's looking good. Looking good, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. But it's still so distressing that I can't go in there, you know. Stupid, isn't it? It's only a dog. <laughs> We've looked after him as best we can, but it'd be smashing for him to be back with the family. That's what it's all about. Blue boy. But Bluey won't get a passport unless his resistance to rabies is high enough. Janie must now go to the local vet to discover Bluey's fate. In Luton, a small mistake has caused a big argument for some Athens-bound passengers. I explained to him. Yeah, but then if that was explained, you would, we would have put in the right name. But you don't want to understand this tele the man in the telephone other than the... the... Always something. When booking her ticket on the internet, Mrs Avital registered the wrong name. She now wants it changed, free of charge. You should know the system, but if you do a name change, you put in the right name. The system is just every one minute. There was no reason to take it with me, it was wrong. But it's a name change and we've got a charge of no, £10. No, it's not name change. £10, I'll give you, I'll put it in right now. You'll charge me £10. £10. £10. £10. You charge me £10. £10. Ten £10. £10. £10. Ten £10. Ten £10. Ten £10. Ten £10. Ten £10. Ten £10. I'm just trying to tell you. Put it in as leisure to fly to my easy jet. That's it. Thank you. Conditions for skydiving are perfect on the Costa Brava, and Penny's psyching herself up for her 13,000 foot freefall. I just hope that I stay calm and I don't panic. I don't know, it's obviously going to be like something I've never experienced before. For Penny, there's no going back. Oh, she's here now. For Janie, the wait is almost over. How are you doing? Oh, How are you feeling? All right. Very nervous. Yeah, well, let's find, uh, it. find out what he said. He's got one of those kidney dishes I can vomit into. That twitchy. <laughs> you know what I'm like. Well, here we are. Well, OK. <laughs> Two and a half miles above the drop zone, the pilot gives Penny a two-minute warning. Penny will be the last to jump. Falling at 140 miles per hour, the skydivers approach 5,000 feet. Time to open the parachute. For a moment, it looks as though the chute isn't going to open. <laughs> Kevin is the first to make it down but Penny still has to touch down safely. OK, stand by. Stand by. And flare. Flare, 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 flare. Yeah. Woo! Nice one. Did it? <laughs> Apparently it comes back to you, but I can't remember, like, the skyline or anything like that. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it is a... 
an amazing experience and um, I'm going to be going through it again tomorrow. <laughs> I can definitely go for a few beers now and uh, <laughs> relax a bit. Wow. No, fantastic. Amazing experience. <laughs> All is about to be revealed for Janie. Has Bluey got the all clear to come back to England? Okay, well, well, we've got the test result for the for the uh, the blood test, and that is um, he has a defence against rabies, so that's okay, no problem. Eight over he's, eleven. He's way above the minimum requirement for the defence against rabies. <laughs> what a last one, mm. God. There you go. God for that. It's not only good news for you; it's good news for me because I've had Certainly. the dog two years, and and I think you know it's time that he went to you back to his family. Oh God, so that's fine. brilliant. <laughs> and no problem. Oh, so relieved. No, oh, it's good. He'd blabbing like a wuss. Muchísimas gracias por todo. We got it, David. <laughs> God, I'm so pleased. Bluey's blood test is clear. Now Janie must wait just a few weeks before she can take Bluey home to England. I've got so many different emotions going through my head. I've finally got a date to look forward to now, which I've never had before. June 23rd is brilliant, but it's not quick enough. <laughs> Just me being impatient and silly. Penny successfully completed her freefall course and is now a qualified skydiver. The hens went on to cause havoc in Magaluf. And after spending the night in a Luton hotel, Mike finally made it to Crete a day late.